This tutorial describes how to set up an environment that will generate barcodes for reporting services using barcode fonts and the .NET DLL. To produce a scannable barcode, the .NET DLL font encoder formats the data before the barcode font is applied. This example will demonstrate how to build a report based on fields in a table from an ice cream company that wants to keep track of its flavors using barcodes. Download the font package. Right-click the file and select Extract All. Select Extract. To install the fonts, double-click the EXE. Advance through the installation process. Minimize or close the window. The .NET DLL is included in the Developer Tools zip file of the package. Right-click the file and select Extract All. Navigate to the .NET DLL in the ID Automation .NET Assembly folder. Copy the .NET DLL to the Private Assemblies folder of Visual Studio. In my example, I have a shortcut to this location. Copy the .NET DLL to the Report Server bin. After placing the DLL in the appropriate directories, there are a few config files that must be edited with code groups to use it. To retrieve the code, navigate to the SSRS barcode generator with .NET Assembly tutorial at idautomation.com. Copy the code in step 4 and place it in the RS Preview Policy config file after the first code group located in private assemblies. Keep in mind that the tutorial uses the default idautomation.NET assembly. Always adjust the code to use the desired .NET DLL. Save the file. Copy the code in step 5 
and place it in the RSS RV policy config file after the first code group located in the report server directory. Save the file and reboot the server. Run Visual Studio. Select File, New, Project. In the templates, select Business Intelligence, Reporting Services, Report Server Project Wizard. Name the project and select OK. In the Select the Data Source window, select New Data Source, create a name, and set the type of data source. Select Edit, in the Connection Properties, select the server name and log on to the server. Select the database. To ensure that the connection is successful, select Test Connection. Click OK. Verify the source name type of connection, and connection string. Select Next. Because I did not save my password, I'll actually have to enter it a few more times throughout this tutorial. In the Design Query, select Query Builder. Select the Add Table icon. Choose the table and click Add. Select Close. Place a check mark in the box in front of the fields to include on the report 
and then select OK. Once the query string is set, select Next. Select the report type and choose Next. In the Design the Table window, move the available fields to the Displayed Fields text area by left-clicking the field Select Details. Select Next. Choose the table style for the report and select Next. Set the Report Server version, Report Server, Deployment folder, and choose Next. Create a name for the report and choose Finish to complete the wizard. To activate the Report menu, left-click on the body of the report. Select Report, Report Properties. Select References, and in the Add or Remove Assemblies, select Add, and then select the Ellipsis button. Select the Browse tab, choose the IDAutomation.NET Assembly DLL, and select OK. In the Add or Remove classes, set the class name containing the data encoding functions. For the IDAutomation.NET Assembly DLL, use IDAutomation.NET Assembly.FontEncoder. This value is pulled directly from the assembly file. Set an instance name and select OK. This tutorial uses CLS ID Automation barcode. To add an encoded data field to the report, Right-click the last column in the table and select Insert Column, Right. Name the field Barcode. Right-click the empty area below the barcode field and select Expression. Enter the expression. Code is a global module for processing custom code requests. Instance name is the instance of the class variable assigned. Function name is one of the functions available and the parameter 
is the data that needs to be encoded into the barcode. Select OK. Click the Preview tab to ensure that the function is returning data. Depending on the barcode type encoded, the data may appear as strange characters, numbers, or uppercase letters. This is the encoded data. Return to Design View. In the expression, right-click and select Text Box Properties. Choose Font and select the font to ID Automation C128M or the demo ID Automation SC128M. Select OK. To deploy the solution to the report server, select Build, Deploy Solution.